Okay, what we got going on here is um, Mr. Jones here, Mr. Randall Jones, aka Rimwolf, is working on a new kit as well, which is going to be my wife's uh, sniper. She's going to do a recon, and you're the you're her temp sniper in all actuality, right? I guess. Right? Is it so? He's a temp sniper because I, I don't think so anymore. I don't know. Because she was gonna do a robot thing for her. Okay, so she might still okay. I don't know. So Liz might still stick with the robot. Anyway, this is uh, we got a little board, and uh, this is nothing really really special. Just it's a bunch of uh, uh, maybe decided to do a sniper rifle, and it was a bunch of Nerf weapons put together along with some military issue parts and some extensions. And then painted, blah blah blah. Uh, the cool thing is that parts go or parts are where they're not supposed to go, which gives it a newer look. I combined about three different weapons. I did sand off all writing, all warnings, all nerf, everything toy related is off the weapon. Uh, all the holes that where the screws go are actually filled in, so it's nice and clean. Um, you got your standard mags here inside the butt stock. There's one here and one on the other side as well. And then uh, this is actually a barrel uh, extension for this weapon. This one extension is for a different weapon. And what I did is I turned it upside down and I modified it. I cut a part off of here and a part off of up here so I can mount it the top of the rail slide right here and I added an NVG uh, cover for the lens to the front of this it turned to a scope here and added an actual eyepiece from NVGs here for the back and if you look inside you can actually see through so it is hollow uh, down here we have and I think the batteries are out but they we, are I just pushed it did you yeah. I have a laser mounted here to the top of the rail system uh, that can come off and you actually have your iron sights with your little green dot for your night firing. Um, it's still, hold it tight, it still does cock back. Okay, I can cock it back. Oh. So it cocks back, push it forward, and it will still shoot. But I don't want it to shoot, and it actually won't shoot because the barrel's blocked off here. Then down here we have a military issue uh, bipod. Because it is a sniper rifle, so you get your bipod here. Then down here, this is from another Nerf weapon, and this comes off and on and off too. And I replaced the batteries in it, but this is a miniature, another laser slash flashlight, which mounts to the bottom of the weapon as well. And then, of course, the original barrel ended here, but we did a barrel extension all the way out to here. So this is the new uh, sniper rifle. So I get a full shot. It's got some good length to it. Um, it's really sturdy, and it doesn't look too bad. You know, uh, the, add a little bit of color to it. Uh, it is a Nerf modification, but uh, I, I think overall it's a pretty good Nerf modification. It's still realistic. Uh, it's still within. I think it still looks within the universe. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like a toy just painted. Did you get close-ups of your detail painting? I got a little bit uh, down here, a little bit of redness added to it. Some of your knobs are painted, uh, some light indicators. Uh, this is your safety. And there's a couple more little, little red, green, yellow indicators. And I think I have one on the other side of this, which has got an on and off switch right here. Uh, and then the same thing on this side. Safety. Yep, safety. So. So what do you think? It's not too heavy, right? No, it's really light, actually. It's epic. It is. It's epic. Great job. Love it. Although I do see a piece of orange right down here. I tried painting it down inside and stuff, but I guess I failed on a little spot, but yeah, big deal. This comes out. And, uh, and, uh, water on my floor. Yeah, because he's not used to swinging a sniper rifle and he's smacking everything. Smacked the ceiling fan with it once. They don't hate. Uh, what else? Smacked the ground a few times and I knocked over a bucket. Okay, so anyway, take some photos now of uh, Mr. Randall Jones holding it. I don't know if we can do it. Mm -hmm. So can you.